Welcome to Wales, by Fox Bushcraft. Uh, it's lean times, we're in February, towards the end of February. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a walk about in the woods and see what we can find by way of famine foods. Here's a famine food candidate, the birch polypore, razor strop fungus, growing on the birch. I found one old reference which suggested you could take this fungus, slice it very thin and then fry it in oil, like uh, making crisps or chips. So I did that, uh, looked forward to a tasty little snack, I uh, tried it, and to be honest it was one of the most bitter things I've ever tasted, and I've, I've tasted a few, so uh, I scratched this off my list even of famine foods. Now this is more like it. We've found some jelly ear, or Jew's ear as it used to be called. Um, pretty dependably found upon decaying elder, certainly in the UK. Maybe seven, eight times out of ten, find an elder with uh, dead pieces of branches on. Check the branches and you'll find jelly ear. Uh, good to, uh, you can harvest this and leave it to dry so it's dehydrated and rehydrated for stews and soups or you can eat it as it is a little bit of a crunch to it it's quite firm a little bit slimy um, definitely a famine food this one here's another one another fungus Scarlet Elf Cap. I'm going to have to lower you over to have a look at this one. Hold on. I hope you managed to see that. Uh, bright red cap of fungus. Uh, always found growing on broken twigs and branches and uh, never found it growing on a tree, dead tree. So I think we'll leave that one. Here we've got gorse flowers. Not much nutritional value but they'll make a herbal tea for you. Just steep them in hot water for about five minutes or so. Okay, we've got some oak moss growing here, a lichen, and this is growing on an old fruit tree, uh, you usually find it on oaks. So this is our oak moss, commonly used for feeding livestock, uh, it's got about a 30% higher carbohydrate content than dried grass and certainly been used as famine food, uh, particularly this uh, species used for uh, additives to bread, so for bread making. It's quite bitter. Um, it's often mashed and mixed with a bit of uh, alkaline like wood ash or bicarbonate soda just to take some of that acidity out. I'm going to be a little bit careful uh, with this. Some people are sensitive to this, their skin uh, can have an uh, allergic reaction to this. And here we have some reindeer moss as well, um, identified by the, the ends of the, the lichen, ends in three points. Um, commonly fed as fodder to livestock, mainly reindeer in uh, northern latitudes in Europe. Another famine food for humans as well. So they said uh, relating to the oak moss, a little bit bitter to the taste. So we might need a bit of preparation. So thanks for joining me and remember lichens just like mushrooms, they're not all edible and benign and harmless. There's a very colourful Scandinavian lichen species called uh, Lotharia vulpes from memory, uh, which used to poison wolves. So take care, see you soon.